how you know this joke with another video. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be just um, this is going to be from my uh, big six shareholders page. This is going to be my info information video. So those of you who don't want to live in my co-op, please disregard this. Please disregard this video because I'm only going to do it for them. Um, on my Big Six Tower shareholders Facebook page because it's not easy for me to do it on, to upload this video on, on YouTube and then link it over to um, Facebook. Uh, so, so those of you who don't live in my co-op, uh, please don't watch this video. Watch watch all my other ones instead. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me, getting over a cold. So please excuse me. My voice, guys. My, my voice is going as it is. Um, from from the April uh, minutes, my, my April uh, information meeting. Still, once again, the board is still not communicating properly with us. Which is one of the things that I six months ago when I campaigned for the for the for the board. That's one of the things I campaigned over. And unfortunately, since we have uh, three new board members. Still, the communication is still crappy, um, and there's still absolutely no excuse for it. Uh, what I mean by that is that the Big Six Towers website has not been updated since January, uh, because the December minutes on the board minutes for 2017 are up there on, on the Big Six website, but now we have the February minutes around. Uh, they've been posted in various, um, I think, I think they've been posted in all buildings by now, but the January minutes are not posted. So I go in the office, or, co or copies are not left or, on in the mail rooms, and it's also not on the website either. So I go, in, so I go into the office, so, okay, where's the January minutes? We got February, because I got a copy of, uh, that's been posted in the mail room, so I'm like, where's January? And they go, uh, you know, like that. That they actually, the faces are actually were like that, by the way. So they, uh, um, so all we correct them soon. So yeah, when three months? Uh, because I am getting tired of every three or four months of the website being updated. I mean, they haven't been updated since January. Since after the after the Christmas holidays, and I like know it's what when the hell is the damn website? I mean, the website. Because Kevin Doyle, since he's been on the, the board, at least in the last three years, three or four years since he's been on the board, he's been hyping and overhyping the Big Six website and, tell, and telling shareholders, don't go on this page, on, the, on, my, on my page, uh, my, uh, my Big Six page, to tell people not to go there because the, it's, all, it's all inaccurate. It's all only the opinion of the referring referring to me really and so oh it's only the opinion of the person who wrote it it's not real facts they said, they said what the hell is it Kevin Doyle is Donald Trump you know coming up with all the fake fake news stuff um, so, so I keeps going don't don't go to Facebook go go to the, to the website so they like hey the website has not been updated in about three it, it takes about four three or four months at least maybe even five months before the stupid website is even updated. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's zero excuse. For that. That's why I mean for the communication thing. Because communication between the the board and the shareholders is awful. There's zero excuse for the board not updating the, web, the website. Especially because Kevin Doyle is on this uh, has been for for, it has been for a couple of months, been for a couple of years, a few years now. Been on this kick to to have people stop coming to the to the uh, my Facebook page or this or this page group page and not go on the website and go just go to the Big Six website and that's it. I said, how can you expect people to go to the Big Six website where it's never updated? I brought this up. And, he's, and, he's, and he even brought up to Kevin actually before we had the big argument with before I had the big argument with him. I said, "How can you honestly want people to go to your website when you never update it?" 
in a timely manner. You, you take like three or four, every three or four months, you update the thing. How come you ne you never properly update it in a timely manner? Like I said, if you update it like once or twice a month, it's fine. It's fine with me if, if it's updated once or twice a month. But but if you take four or five months before you even update the website, the website is with, is with us, completely with us. And at least the Facebook page that I've been running since uh, 20, September 2012, at least I, I, I updated, but as much as, as much as possible, at least other people uh, updated as well. So like Joe Joe Carlos uh, recently posted a thing with, with about Queens Boulevard. Uh, other people I have, I appreciate that, that you take the time to, to put stuff in there or bring up an issue that's important to you guys. That's related to Big Six Towers. I appreciate it. I thank you for it. Uh, but at least those of us who take the time and trouble to, to do it, at least at least we do it. At least we're doing it. At least we're keeping the page. You know, updated and going. Unlike Kevin Doyle and the board of directors and the Big Six management, they never update the website in a timely manner. Never. At least we don't go three or four months without updating. At least I don't. Unless, at least something goes wrong with, with my internet access or, or whatever. Um, or my computer, if I, my computer crashes, that's why you can't update if my computer crashes. But at least we. At least I take the time to update it, and other people have taken it. Those who already credited, and others as well, have taken the time to, to credit to update the update the, the page. Uh, that's why the page. That's why I'm glad I created the page. I'm proud that I created this page. We, we all have this form to um, bring up issues, but unfortunately, the board is uh, particularly Kevin Dora. I don't think the rest of the board gives two. Uh, cents, at least the majority of them don't give two cents about they're posting stuff on here. But Kevin Dorn does. And Harry, and, and the former board member Harry, Harold Geary does. They're the only two who, who really care. Uh, I think the only current, other than Kevin Dorn, the only board member who really cares about, that complains about what's going on in this page is, is um, Edward Bennett, whose term is up this year, by the way. So, don't vote for him. Get him, get him off, because he put the blame on me as well. Uh, when I that infamous post that Doreen O'Leary made on here, complaining about it as a dishonest boy. Uh, he, uh, Edwin Bennett, uh, Cameron Doyle, and Harold Geary, all three of them, went after me for 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 that post. You blame me for what Doreen wrote. You know, they had the nerve to uh, agree with her, it, to, a, to a small, tiny aspect of it. Because I tried to get myself, actually since I was running for the board at the time Doreen made that post, so I figured to jump on that and you know, try to get myself elected. Because uh, 10 years ago, Bill Creel ran on the same, on a similar thing that I did, because he, he wrote on his letter, I still have I still have uh, kept a lot of that stuff, uh, saying he's the only honest board member who won't allow you to deceive anybody. So I kind of uh, nine years later, nine years after Bill wrote that, I figured to jump on that and try to copy it because he got elected by saying or reelected by saying that stuff. Uh, so I figured I decided to run on one of that as well. Saying I'm, only, I'm the only honest person who will allow to see anybody. So you're, okay, if it's good enough for him, I, I could do that too. Or, or if it's good enough, if he, or what I meant to say is that Bill got elected by saying that. I think, okay, if I say that too, maybe it will help me to get elected to the board. Um, that's that's why I posted that. But I got jumped on by, by, by three board members. One of them is Al. Now, was off the board now. And that's Howard, thank God. Uh, Kevin is going to be the next one, Al, because it's, because of term limits. He's been on the board for six years, and because of term limits, he's out. 
Uh, Aguirre will be out in six months for a year. Thank, thank God for that as well. Because if I'm out for six years, it's enough. Uh, six consecutive years is enough for me. And, and the other two board members, the well, one I don't really have a beef with, that's Thomas Haggerty. He, his spot's open this year. And the other one is, um, is Evan Bennett, like I mentioned earlier. So those two guys, well, and actually, of course, uh, I know I mentioned, I know I mentioned it early, but we are now six months away, because we know it is April 2nd. Uh, we are now officially six months away from uh, the official camp campaign for the board of directors now. Uh, with uh, we were within six months, I can't believe it. I can't believe the six months have gone by since, since the uh, the election when he ran for the first time, and. Now, like I said, I am still not going to announce if I'm going to be running or not. But, you know, I'm getting there. My mind is getting there. By doing these videos. I'm glad I'm doing these videos. And, like I said, I'm going to keep doing one every month. Uh, at least for the time being, as long as I get able to think of things to, to talk about. Uh, I should also mention that the work is still going on with the boiler rooms. In the boiler room of building three, the work's still going on. I think it's going to continue for at least maybe at least another month, or month and a half. At least at least until maybe the end of May. Uh, two of the three boiler rooms have been replaced. The third one is going. Is, the third one's working, and I wish they would form us if when the third all oh, the boilers have been fixed and repaired, uh, or changed. Two 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 new ones have been put and reinstalled, and they're working fine. The third one is being installed now, and of course the other big issue now they should mention. I should mention the other issues that have all the other board nonsense. Um, there's the water issues that are still going on, it's still pretty going hot and heavy. I think building. I think I believe somebody mentioned building sex with the hot water. Uh, the water being shut off, uh, and you feel like this. This is like the worst I've ever seen it. I'm sure that a lot of you will agree with me on this, that this is like the worst ever we have with the water issues. I know we have water issues that have been bad from time to time with water shut offs, but not to, not so many times in such a short period. And I do hope that, I think a lot of the problem is that we, that I think I mentioned earlier in, in the previous video, that we should have a plumber on staff. Uh, our staff here at Big City instead of going off for an outside contractor. I think, I think we're doing with an outside contractor is like a waste of money. Uh, I think so. I don't know if there were if there are plumbers who could have contracts with, with individual co-ops or Mitchell Armas like, like we are. Um, we should or the board should look into that so we can constantly have a plumber on staff as well as an electrician on staff to deal with electrical issues. Uh, because we have one who was Gal who retired a couple years ago, I don't think, and replaced him with Mike Ulrich's son. Good job, guys. Uh, we should have one who do electrical work and do individual parts. Because I know I have one uh, light fixture that has a show in it. None of the maintenance staff will no, no member of the maintenance staff was able to fix that because they don't have the tech or know how to fix that. But I just want, I like to have someone on staff as an electrician as well, as well as an on staff plumber. I don't mean any disrespect to our maintenance staff, but we should have uh, members of our maintenance staff who knows exactly what they're doing in individual uh, fields to repair our apartments because don't forget we. This club is now 55 years old. And I think it's about time that we have workers in each type of field constantly here on staff on the grounds of Big Six to do this in the type of work. So we don't have to go out get get a kind of put outside contract to do this work because I think it's ridiculous. We don't have these same people on staff. Uh, we're going back to uh, the board. We are now six months away. For, for the board of elections, I am encouraging 
everybody here on the page to go out and run for the board this year. Because we need new blood. We need new people on there. Uh, of course, myself included, of course, but fortunately, I wasn't elected. But we need new people on this board instead of the same old people who constantly run every year, uh, who are who are constantly there, who treat the fellow shareholders like crap, and it's about time that we get new people running for the board. And for the next few videos, um, as if I'm going to do more videos in, in the near future for, for the page, I'm going to try to encourage everybody to run for, run, run for the board, as many people as we can. Uh, because I feel that it's ridiculous. Now, last year we only had seven people running for four spots, and the year before we had eight, peop uh, eight people running for six spots. So I feel that we should get at least double the amount of people we had last year. If we can get 14 people running, it would be quite an accomplishment. Because it's very, very hard to get people to run here because there's a lot of work involved. It's very time consuming. Uh, but we need more people running. And as of right now, at the time of doing this video, there's only going to be three spots open this year. Which is a uh, damn good. Well, of course, anything could happen between now and six months from now when, when the when the board of elections uh, goes on, it uh, happens. But I feel that it's very, very important to get as many people we can as we can. Because my own personal account, uh, I count like only four people who are definitely going to be running this year. Uh, I feel. And uh, that's Evan Bennett, as I mentioned earlier, Thomas Haggerty, because those two guys are eligible to run for re election this year. Um, well, like I said earlier, the Kevin Doyle cannot run because of term limits because he's been on the board for six consecutive years. So he has to be off the board for at least one year. So those are the three three spots that are open this year, 20, 2018. So he cannot run. Kevin Doyle cannot run. So so the only two people, other two spots on the board who can run, or the other two people who can run, are Thomas Haggerty and Edwin Bennett. I think Edwin Bennett can run because he's only on the board for, like, I think, like two years. So he could run for a three year for a three year term. And the only other two people who I think are, are definitely gonna be running are of course Howard uh, Geary. Please don't vote for this guy. I wanna kick him in the butt instead of the voting and then put it this way. I rather vote for Hillary Clinton before I vote for Howard Geary. That's how much I hate this guy's guts. And of course if you see my other videos, you know why. And, uh, of course, the other person who I feel is definitely going to be running is, of course, Dorothy Comiskey again. So those are the four people who I personally feel are going to be running again this year. Uh, but, for the most part, I like to see at least double that number, or even double the number we had last year. Uh, because I made the point that Canada is not anything sad. I think it's quite sad that we have 980 to potential candidates running for the board and only seven men last year. And the year before we only had eight. So I think it's it's better if we have more than you know, 14, 15 people running. Uh, at least give people more of a choice. And that's what that's my mind. So I, the next few videos I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be trying to encourage you guys to, to run for the board. So that's my April uh, information, Big Six information video. Uh, please feel, please feel, feel free to comment on. Please don't be afraid of hurting my feelings. I have a thick skin, and I don't don't be afraid to uh, to to comment, post your opinion. Feel free to do so, uh, and I uh, hopefully hopefully in May I have I have I do a, a video to encourage you guys more to run for the board. And I'm going to keep nagging you guys until more of you decide to run for the board of directors. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time.